guys, welcome back. So I know that there aren't very many tutorials for contouring specifically aimed at Asian skin and Asian features. So I thought I'd do one of those for you today. Um, I'm going to be going in with only contour products and um, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. So I'll be going in with the contour products first. I'm going in with my absolute favorite contour product and that is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Palette. And I absolutely love the contour in here because it is a gorgeous natural color, really easy to blend on the skin and really easy to use. So I'm just going to go in with my fingers first. I'm just going to go in with a clean finger and rub it into the product like this. And then I'm going to start contouring my face. I'm going to start along the cheekbones don't worry about being too neat with this, we're blending all of this out. And then right along the bridge of the nose. Same on the other side. I also want to do around the temples. Now, while you're doing the contour on your cheekbones, something to note is that you have to stay as close to your cheekbone as possible. If you go a little bit too low, that's going to drag your face down and it's going to make it seem a lot more saggy than it should be. So remember to keep as close to the bottom of the cheekbone as you can. You also want to contour the jawline. I'm going to make my jawline appear smaller by contouring just along the jawline here and this is going to prevent any of those double chin looking effect as well. Now if you have more of a rounded short face shape, what you want to do is also include some contour in this area over here, which is going to slim your face down a little and make it seem slightly longer. Now I want to be a little bit more precise for these next couple of moves, so I'm going to be using a pinpoint kind of eyeshadow brush, I guess. I'm picking up the product with it and I'm starting to shade into the crease with this. Now what I'm going to do is actually join this area to the contour that I already applied to the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now for Asian face shapes, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find your crease, so what you want to do is tilt your head back and look down into a mirror and you should see a little bit of a natural kind of indent here on your lid. What you can do is also go in with a little pencil and as you can see there is a little indent here where your eyeball socket kind of sinks in a tiny bit. That is your crease. Now if you have really really hooded eyes, what you want to do instead is look straight into a mirror and shade the area that appears right above your eye when it's open and that's going to give you a really nice natural looking crease and give you some dimension to your eye. And that is more or less it for the contouring. Now I'm going to move on to the highlighting. For the highlight color, I have chosen to use this Collection 2000 concealer. It is in the color Fair and it is a couple of skin tones lighter than my actual skin tone which is perfect for this. So, to apply, this comes with a doe foot applicator, so it's more or less really convenient for me because I don't need to apply with my fingers or an extra brush. So I'm going to bring it onto the high points of my face. So the center of the forehead, down the center of the nose, staying away from the very tip of the nose, and then directly onto the cheekbone. And if you want to accentuate your cheekbones even more, then directly underneath the contour color that you placed underneath your cheekbone. And then on the chin a little bit as well. And that is more or less your contour and highlight colors applied before blending. So I went in with a cream-based foundation. This is the Benefit Hello Flawless, which is a really nice kind of brightening foundation, which is perfect if you like kind of dewy, glowy skin. And um, remember also to moisturize your skin before you put on your base. 
I went in with the La Mer Soft Moisturizing Cream, which is one of my absolute favorite base moisturizers for before I put on my makeup. And with these contouring products, what you want to do is use cream-based products because they are very easy to use, very easy to blend out as well. So now let's move on to the blending. I do have a favorite brush for kind of blending all these products out together and that is the Dior Full Coverage Foundation Brush. Shiseido also do a similar brush which is more or less interchangeable with this brush so whichever one you can get, that's the one that you should use. And what you want to do is just really gently start with the darker colors and blend them softly into your skin. You don't want to blend them out too much because you still want them to be kind of prominent and still there. Plus, you will be blending them out a little bit more once you start blending out the highlight colors. So just very, very lightly. Taking away all the harsh lines. And then once you're done blending in the contours, you can start blending in the highlights. If there are any harsh lines, just make sure that you kind of blend them very lightly together. Another thing to take into account when you're choosing a highlighter is the tone of your skin. Now this particular Collection 2000 concealer that I'm using right now is quite pink based and therefore not quite suitable for people with warm skin tones. So make sure that you watch out for the kind of concealer or highlight products that you choose to use. I do have a post that I wrote on my favorite contour and highlight products which I will link somewhere over here as well as down in the description box for you. Now with the highlight colors on the cheekbones, on the top and the bottom of the contour color, just very very lightly kind of blend it into the contour so there aren't any harsh lines. Everything should look quite natural and quite seamless. And finally, this is kind of optional depending on whether you like your eyebrows really defined or not, I'm going in with this Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and this is in the color Ivory with the same brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to apply that directly underneath the arch of my brow now it's best not to use a shimmery color in this area because shimmery colors tend to bring the brow out a little bit too much and make you look kind of washed out so a nice light concealer type color is perfect so that is more or less it for the contouring and highlighting I'm just going to go put on some of my makeup and I will be right back so this is the finished contoured look along with the makeup. I did put a little bit of powder contour onto the cheekbones just to intensify the look a little bit after I applied the blush. I used the Sleek Contour Kit in the color Medium and this is just what it looks like. And basically that is more or less it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions at all, just leave them down in the comment box or tweet me, Facebook me, message me, anything is fine. I will get to your question as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!